Hi, this is Jim Janesey. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to embed YouTube videos in one or another place on the web without getting into all the clutter that normally surrounds a YouTube video. The reason I'm doing this is some folks I know think you have to have an HTML web page to embed YouTube videos in. But I want to show you that's not really true. What you're looking at here is a PDF. This I created using Word and I output it as a PDF. It's got hyperlinks in it. One of the hyperlinks here is a video. Let's take a look at the video. Here's the way it comes up. I'll play a little bit of it so you can see what's going on. This is me introducing a chapter, one chapter out of 25, in a course that I teach at DePaul University. I made this lecture so that I could take what I used to do in the classroom and can it, so that when I do this class online, students can get the benefit of the lectures that I give. Now let me go back from this and let me show you what the lecture looks like. This is also a YouTube video. Now I'm speaking at this point. You can't hear it because the way I've recorded this, you're hearing my voice instead of the sound of the lecture. This too is a YouTube video though. Let me go back now. This is a PDF. These are hyperlinks. Everything on this page constitutes the first two weeks of this course. And it's all in one place and it's easy to do this using a PDF. But that's not the point. The point I wanted to get across to you was, here I've embedded a video, but how did I do this? Well, let me remove myself from full screen mode here so that I can show you what's behind this. And if I go here to view and I look at the source, this is the small amount of HTML involved. So I've composed this HTML just using a text editor. And the only thing in here of any significance is really all of this code here, which the folks at YouTube give me. That's the embed code. Once I've made my choices about the size of the video I want and whether I want a border around it, this code exists on the YouTube website and I copy it. I can't put this in as a hyperlink itself. What has to be a hyperlink is HTML or another PDF document. So what I've got here is the bare minimum of HTML necessary to have this embed code actually work. And I've taken the opportunity here to put a title in, so at the top of the screen will be this title, and there will be this lettering, and I could expand this to multiple lines of text if I wanted to, and then just this little finish up of HTML here. So the only things that change in this HTML are the title and whatever text you want on the screen, and the embed code, which you get from the video hoster. Now, where does this go? This becomes a small file. I've named it chapter one underscore preview.html, and I've placed it on the same server where I've placed the PDF for this page. It happens to be at a place at iPower Web that I rent for $8 a month where I have this website, ambriana.com. It's as simple as doing this. The rest of these hyperlinks they all link in to similar types of HTML, each with a different embedded video. Every one of these lectures is exactly the same kind of a thing. A small amount of HTML that houses the embed code. And the rest of these things really are either PDFs or links to various other places on the web. There is one here that I'll show you in particular where it's even fancier. I used a free HTML editor to create this called Composer. Wonderful tool. I type this in, what you're seeing on the screen now, as a small summary of the Persian Empire and how Greece conquered it. But here is the interesting part. I found a five-part video on YouTube that I wanted to have the students watch. So what I did was, in this case, took a frame out of each one of those videos and included it here so that when you click on it, we branch to a small piece of HTML that houses the embed code for this video from YouTube. So let me show you this once again. Here's the source code for it. Here's the little bit of HTML. What you see here is the embed code from YouTube. Here is the title. 
and here is the small amount of instructions that I give to say how do you play this. Click the arrow in the middle of the screen. So you can play this, you can go back to here, you can play the next one. I think it makes a great deal of sense to do the simple amount of HTML coding to embed videos any way you like. And here I have included a map of the area with some callouts here I applied in red with white letters so that as a student watches these videos they have some idea of the geographical area that we're talking about. This is just a simple amount of HTML and this goes way beyond what you have to do to embed videos. I hope this has helped you to understand that embedding videos into any type of a web page, including a web page that isn't HTML at all, it's simply a PDF file. You can embed videos very well and you can totally control how that video presents itself, just as I've done here. You can vary the size, you can vary the amount of text on the screen, you can make it be what you want to be for presentation purposes. To my way of thinking, building web pages in HTML for the purpose of displaying your content, this is a marvelous way to do it and you don't have to learn HTML and you don't have to be constrained by the arcane and very limited formatting capabilities of a learning management system. This is a far better way if you're teaching a college course or in fact teaching in any environment. This is a far better way to put your course materials together. Rely on the LMS for scut work functions such as email and perhaps receiving assignments, perhaps communicating with students through announcements, that's fine. But the presentation of your material, don't be constrained by the limitations of an LMS. It really isn't necessary anymore. My name is Jim Janesey. That's my story and I'm sticking to it.